What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Owl channel. In this video, we'll be going over a Town Hall 12 attack strategy, the hybrid at the Town Hall 12 level. Pretty simple to do, and uh, one of the strongest attack strategies at Town Hall 12, at least for me. I love the hybrid attack strategy at Town Hall 13, and Town Hall 11, and even at Town Hall 10. So we're going to go over how to do it at Town Hall 12. Before we jump into the replays, let's take a look at the army composition to see what makes up the hybrid attack. So we go over to Quick Train, and I got it loaded up there. But Army 1 is the hybrid attack strategy. We have 5 healers, 13 hogs. 15 miners, a baby dragon, 3 loons, a minion, 2 archers, 5 wall breakers, 2 heals, 2 rage, 2 freezes, and a poison. In your clan castle, you're going to want uh, hog riders, a rage, and a siege barracks. Now, one of the replays I'm going to go over, I'm going to have a wall wrecker just in case. I'm just going to throw it in there, just one replay. So if anybody wants to use a wall wrecker, they can. A battle blimp is also a good alternative as well with some yetis in there. Um, but those will be in a separate video. And the one that I'm going to be going over is just mainly for demonstration purposes in case somebody wants to use a wall wrecker. It's a quick little demonstration on how to do it. Let's go ahead and jump to the first replay for hybrid. All right, first example we got here, not a max Town Hall 12, to be honest. It's very difficult to find, you know, close to max Town Hall 12 for some reason. I, I don't know if it's just because casual players, you know, either rush a little too fast or they don't take their time with Town Hall 11 or, you know, just perhaps Town 12 is just a beefy, um, you know, Town Hall to get through in general. But it's very difficult for me to find decent Town Hall 12s in order to pick up the replays in order that you know give the credit that the strategy is due but um, we're gonna have to do it the best we can this is the first replay we're gonna go over and hopefully uh, the replays I provide will suffice for you guys I got a couple matchmaking ones as well trying to find some tougher bases to go over and stuff like that I'll go over those towards the end and might not commentate over them but you can see the comments on the bottom we have the siege barracks loaded up for this one let's go ahead and play it here I don't have max heroes for uh, this attack and you don't need max heroes I mean as long as you have the hybrid the hogs and the minor portion pretty much done you're good to go. So the main objective for the hybrid, just like I talk about in all my hybrid videos, is to take down and kill the enemy CC. The enemy CC is probably the most dangerous thing when it comes to the hybrid attack strategy. So making sure that, uh, you know, the CC goes down is always a bonus. So we have the queen charging in from this right side here. I had the wall breakers come in along with the rage spell in order to keep her alive against that king. Um, this is an order replay, so I don't have like the head hunters. If you have a, you know, queen where you're queen charging into... Uh, enemy heroes and anything like that you can bring one or two headhunters and those will actually help you with the strategy and take down you know easy king and queen and stuff like that um, but this was an older replay so this was before the headhunters were introduced but queen's pushing her way in towards the town hall now getting closer and closer to the town hall and getting closer to those clan castle troops and uh, also those single inferno towers so i'm aware that i'm charging a single inferno tower here i have my siege barracks up on the top with my king in order to uh, push everything in quickly because I need to I only have two freezes so I burn through both of them very quickly because there's two single inferno towers one of them's targeting my queen I want the single there it goes to redirect its target towards the miners and the hogs the other single inferno tower unfortunately gets my queen so she has to pop her ability in order to stay alive but the hybrid tear through the middle and the single inferno towers go down redirecting their targets to the hogs and the miners so if you see bases with you know single inferno towers it's not really that big a deal you have so many miners and hogs that they end up you know overwhelming and surrounding the base and kind of like taking it down pretty easily as you can see there on that right side i kind of got lucky with that single inferno tower because the warden ended up helping the two miners that were taking down the inferno tower instead of the big group of uh, miners and hogs and stuff. So I got a little lucky with that. Even if the single inferno tower didn't go down, you can see I have all these hogs and uh, miners still left over. So even if the single was still down and it ended up burning my queen on that side, I think I would have had enough to push through. But uh, very easy attack strategy to do. When you queen charge, just make sure you get your wall breakers in. If you need to use super wall breakers, that's fine. But I think all my replays, I don't have super wall breakers just in case, you know, because you can't get super wall breakers all the time, but you can have regular wall breakers. So um, pairing them with the rage spell and then pushing them further and faster is definitely a skill you need to practice in order to get good at it. All right, next replay we got here, we have the wall record variation, like I mentioned before. Again, another Town Hall 12 that doesn't, you know, kind of rushed a little bit, didn't really focus on building its base up that well, but it's for demonstration purposes. Let's see what we can do here. We have the wall wrecker, and that means we dropped all the wall breakers, and I brought an extra baby dragon for funneling. And uh, we're gonna use the wall wrecker to push into the base, take down the CC, and push my queen into the base here. And uh, so we have the Coco Loon coming down, Queen coming, along with the healers, they're going to push in. Coco Loon's going to search for any black air mines around that area so, you know, we can save the healers and they can push in faster and stuff like that. And it looks like my Queen is committing to the left side of the base. So if you're going to attack from, like, a uh, specific corner, make sure that your Queen actually decides where she wants to go before placing down your Wrecker because, you know, if she goes the other way, it's not the end of the world. The Wall Wrecker's, uh, you know, job is to get the CC regardless of which way she goes. But it's always nice to have the Queen go inside with the Wall Wrecker so that way she can get... Uh, more value, she can get the defenses that are inside, and lots of other things like that. But uh, CC goes down, 
I mean, the wall record goes down, CC comes out. I have Valkyries in the clan castle instead of uh, Yetis this time. Queen's pushing in, taking down the E-Drag, and now I'm ready to set up my pathing for the hybrid. King's on the uh, top left side, and he's going to push his way towards the right side and clear out all the trash buildings, so that way the miners stay in the middle of the base. And if there's any defenses out there, the hogs will stay with the miners inside the base. Queen's now engaging the enemy queen over there. You can see I placed a rage down to take her down. If that was a max level queen, I would have done the exact same thing because... Uh, you know, max level queen does a lot of damage, so placing that rage down is always good practice to keep your queen alive and push her through the base. Hogs and Miners are making their way towards the Town Hall now, still holding on to that Warren ability. There it goes, as I'm now engaging the Town Hall, taking it down, and uh, everything in the middle survives the Town Hall blast as everything uh, pushes in towards the back end, and it's looking really good for another 3-star. Again, I know that the base is not maxed out. It's nowhere near max to a Town Hall 12, but uh, like I said, it's the best I can do, and I wanted to get this you know, video out so that way you know, you guys can start practicing it the right way and doing uh, hybrid and getting used to it and all that stuff, but it's hard to find uh, strong Town Hall 12s, at least around the casual level and stuff like that. There are a couple of matchmaking attacks I'm gonna include towards the end. I couldn't find anyone with Clan Castle Truce, but the bases are relatively, you know, a lot stronger than the ones that I'm displaying right now. We're gonna go over a couple more replays with commentating, then I'm gonna have those play, and that'll be the end of the video, guys. But let's go ahead and jump into the next replay. All right, next replay that we got here, I'm gonna have it play straight through. We got a decent looking Town Hall 12. I forgot I actually had this replay. This was actually, I was playing, or Tekka was doing like a uh, friendly war. You guys know that watch me. If you guys know, uh, you know, you've seen my videos with Tekko, my collaborations. He's a, another great streamer, another great YouTuber for Clash, and I believe he was holding like a friendly war or something. So I sent my Town Hall 12 over and uh, got a triple on this decent looking Town Hall 12. So we're charging a multi here. So there's no danger for the queen, but you can see the wall breakers coming in. I have to freeze the multi and rage him through. So that way I make sure I get into this compartment. I want to get into the compartment so I can get the uh, queen and I can get the CC down. Queen's in the compartment now. I found on the right and left side, I believe using baby dragons, maybe a couple wizards and stuff like that. Find a way to funnel your queen into where she wants, you know, where you want her to go. So that way she can take down the CC and she can take down, you know, queen and you know, eagle or anything else that's very important. Anyway, so queen is now engaging the enemy queen. Hound's coming out along with the poison on top of them. Archers go down. King on the bottom side in order to funnel the left side. I'm going to push my hybrid through the town hall and then through the back side of the base. Hound goes down there. I placed my poison a little too early. I thought my, you know, my queen would engage the other queen or the enemy queen um, a lot quicker than she did, but she didn't. Um, she took down the hound. She's you know, taking a lot of damage from those pups, so that second rage comes down and she engages these second defenses. You get the archer towers back there. We got bomb towers and stuff like that. Miners and hogs pushing through the middle of the base. Town hall gets activated as the warden ability comes on. And does it go down in time? Town hall goes down uh, just before the warden ability wears off, so some of those hogs took some damage there, but that's okay. Heal spell is going to rejuvenate all the damage that they took. Heal on that backside gets the archer tower cannon and the multi. So the heals. I mean, not the heals, the freezes. Um, use them where you see fit. Use them where you get value. I like to use them on multi inferno towers, inferno towers in general. Um, splash damage, like if like double wizard towers are like you know hammering down on my miners and hogs. Double wizard towers are good. Uh, anywhere you can get a bunch of value, you know, three or four defenses at one time around a multi or around inferno tower. Um, that's kind of where I like to use my freezes. You can use them however you want. You can use them if you're charging a single. I mean, whatever is more comfortable for you guys, go for it. But you can see here. All my hogs go down. My queen's still taking that queen. Or my queen's engaging the eagle. She's now being targeted by the single inferno tower. I have not used her ability yet, so there it goes. And I have my pekkas. I got miners on the outside. Lots of troops left here in order to take down the remainder of the base. And I believe it got really close here because that single inferno tower is still up, burning through a lot of the miners and stuff like that. It's the only defense that was left. And as long as my miners made it to the Inferno Tower before my queen did, I was guaranteed the triple. So there we go, guys. Another easy three-star using the Queen Charge Hybrid. Um, the most important part, again, rewatch that beginning part if you're having a hard time with Queen Charging. If you're charging a multi, you're going to have to burn a freeze in order to get your wall breakers in. And if you're charging a single, of course, you're going to have to use a freeze on the single. So that way your queen can charge the uh, single and take it down. But uh, I think that's probably the most important part when it comes to a Queen Charge Hybrid is getting your queen where she wants to go. But with practice and you know just drilling the attack over and over again, you'll definitely get it down. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the final replay that I'm gonna go over. All right, last replay I'm gonna go over here. Again, not a max Town Hall 12. It's hard to find you know, good looking Town Hall 12s in the casual realm of Clash of Clans, but we do the best we can. We have a couple Coco Loons coming down, Baby Dragon. So I'm trying to funnel my queen and push her up towards the left side here, and then push her into right here so that way she can take down the Town Hall, lure out the CC, and take them down. So if you can find a way to get the Town Hall down, with using just the queen, go for it. It's gonna make your attack a 10 times stronger. You don't have to use the warden ability um, over the town hall. You can push your 
hybrid through whichever part of the base and then warden ability when they're taking the most damage on you know inferno towers eagle we got two you know wither towers on the back side here lots of splash damage and that does tons of damage to the hybrid so i wanted to you know queen charge the town hall take down the cc and that's exactly what we're going to do here so first wall breaker comes in to test to see if there's any bombs and the remainder of the wall breakers are going to push on in and uh, king and the siege breakers are only on the top side going down this path right here to take down all the trash and then the hybrid are going to come through the middle here and take everything down. CC is going to come out. E Drag is now approaching the queen. Uh, I got a warden, or not warden. I got a freeze on top of the warden because uh, the warden does a lot of damage, especially at you know the max level at 40. Does a lot of single point damage. So make sure you want to uh, neutralize that if your queen is being you know distracted by something else and stuff like that. But uh, queen's pushing in now. She takes down the CC. She's taking down the warden. Here comes the miners and the hogs. Miners split off a little bit there because of that uh, collector and that Tezza. But they're going to re route into the middle and there is the enemy queen as they engage we have the heel coming down with the hogs out of the siege barracks lots of going down i mean it's pretty much the same formula just like the first three replays except for the wall record one i think i think it's a little bit different but um the siege barracks again i think is the strongest siege machine you can use with the hybrid attack strategy there's that free spell that i said on top of those wall, uh, wizard towers again you can use it for the multi but i use it for the two wizard towers and the expo because it does a lot of damage splash damage all that definitely want to get rid of all that and uh, you know we have hogs and miners cleaning through the base here and i think i remember this replay i think um most of my stuff died out here i think the hogs and the miners died out a little bit um this is post update this is a post update attack so perhaps i got a little bit of a nerf or something but the hogs and the miners actually died out a lot here and it came down to mainly my warden you can see a couple miners on the right side here and of course my queen charge keeping the queen alive is crucial if you can find a way to keep the queen alive throughout the remainder of the attack or throughout the entire attack it definitely helps out the, the attack because having that queen charge with the healers walking around definitely boosts the strength of the attack. As you can see here, I'm going to re rely on my queen to finish up the remainder of the base, and it wasn't even that strong. I mean, it wasn't even maxed out. So definitely keeping her alive during the attack is definitely a big bonus. But that's the basics on how to do the queen charge hybrid attack strategy. You charge in, uh, you go for the CC, take them down, however you got to take them down. Find a way to get into it, take it down. If you can charge a town hall and take down the CC, I definitely recommend doing that. So that way you can use a king and the siege barracks to set up pathing to push your hybrid through the middle or wherever you're trying to push them through in order to get that three star, okay? Um, very simple strategy to do. Make sure you practice it in matchmaking before you go into war with it. I would not jump straight into war and uh, use the hybrid strategy. I definitely would recommend trying it out before, you know, using it if you have never used it before. Um, that's all I have for the video, guys. I'm going to have some more replays play. I think some more matchmaking replays that I found. Um, again, I couldn't find any ones with CC troops, but uh, these are the best ones I could find as of right now. I can do another video with the Siege Barracks against tougher and stronger Max Town Hall 12. But again, holding out, this is like I mentioned in my Town Hall 11 one, holding out and waiting for those max bases is tough to do because it makes the video a lot longer to make. And then I have to wait around and find the right bases and... You know, it, it just takes more time than it needs to. There's going to be a separate video for wall breakers and battle blimps for this attack strategy because it is a little different with those two, but it's pretty much the same emphasis. Battle blimps going to come in and take down an area where you can get the CC and a little bit of value and stuff like that, but I'll go over that in that video. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions about this strategy, let me know. If you enjoyed it or if it helped, I definitely appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.